I'm Rosalinda Roman, and this is New Mexicast. Welcome back to New Mexicast, everyone. If you watched any of my stories in the past, you've probably figured out I absolutely love New Mexico. If you haven't been here, I think you're missing out. There are a lot of reasons they call this the land of enchantment. Well, one of the enchanting things New Mexico is known for is the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. So as we head into this very hectic fall season, I thought it would be a good time to take a deep breath and enjoy a peaceful airborne parade. This episode and technical support for NewMexicast.com provided by IndieLab.org, where independent media lives. IndieLab offers completely free blogs and websites for media creators. If you're a video blogger, musician, photographer, filmmaker, or podcaster, IndieLab is your answer. Sunrise over the stunning Sandia Mountains. The air is crisp and chilly, a perfect day to enjoy an airborne ballet at the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Thousands willing to get up before the crack of dawn are rewarded with a stunning display of vibrant colors and startling sounds. This is the mass ascension where hundreds of balloons fill the New Mexico sky. But as beautiful as they are from the distance, it's the fact that you can get so close and actually touch a balloon that makes Albuquerque's balloon fiesta so special. We've got some great pictures right up inside the balloon and um, just the shapes and the colors, it's amazing. First time attendees Dave Noseworthy and Glenn Silvernail traveled to the land of enchantment just for Balloon Fiesta. Like so many others here, they say it's definitely worth the trip. Meeting people from all over, we just met people from St. Louis, um, we're from New England, and just being amongst the balloons and the, the camaraderie of everybody, it's pretty wonderful. Wonderful for adults and children. I have a, which one's your favorite one? Like two-year-old Ahava, who enjoys seeing special shaped balloons like this flying pig with her baby sister, Ziva. And watching some of her storybook friends come to life. And float overhead like magic. Of course, it's not magic, but a lot of hard work and the right weather conditions that allow these balloons to take flight. Which is why many balloonists recite a simple prayer before launch. May the winds welcome you with softness. May the sun bless you with its warm hand. May you fly so high and so well that God joins you in laughter and sets you gently back into the loving arms of Mother Earth. As hundreds of balloons successfully take flight on this early morning at Albuquerque's International Balloon Fiesta, it seems a lot of those prayers have been answered. For New Mexicast, I'm Rosalinda Roman. By the way, the 2008 Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta is October 4th through the 12th. So if there's any way you can make it to Albuquerque to see that amazing event, I highly recommend it. You will not regret making that trip. Another thing you won't regret is subscribing to this video podcast. I post a new story every other week, and it's completely free, so you can get an update every time I post a story. Thanks again for watching the New Mexicast. I'm Rosalinda Roman. Like a dream I had. New Mexico's theme song is New Mexico by Dorian and Spencer. Additional support for New Mexicast provided by and actually touch a balloon that makes Albuquerque Al Albuquerque's what? what? Almost, almost. Welcome back to New Mexicast, everyone. <sighs> Three, two, one. It's absolutely amazing experience if you can make it. So that's not what I wanted to say. Three, two, one. It's such a great place to visit and to live. It's three, two, one. Welcome back to New Mexicast, everyone. If you have not, three, two, one. Welcome back to New Mexicast, everyone. Ah. <sighs>